Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottonen from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 154 and I get this question very often and that is, do I need to pay income tax on my hobby? So if you are a photographer and you are approaching it as a hobby but occasionally earning some money, the question is do you need to pay taxes on that? Okay, let me read you the question that I received but before I do so, allow me to add this disclaimer. I am not qualified to dispense advice on such topics, so I will give you my limited amount of knowledge. However, you should not take my word for it. Not ever. You should consult an attorney and an accountant to get real, proper, confirmed information. Are we clear? I hope so. Okay, so here's the question. Do you know if I have to set anything up for taxes? Again, this is from a friend who is a hobbyist. I have only been paid for two sessions and it is nowhere near profitable for me. The gentleman that I took classes from a year ago said you can make up to $5,000 as a hobby before you are required to file taxes. I'm nowhere near ready to start a business, but I want to make sure I follow the rules. I do appreciate all of your advice. And when I read that, I thought, I don't think it's as cut and dry as a number. I don't know that for sure because I'm not an expert. but. I'm thinking the IRS never makes anything cut and dry. So to say you can make up to $5,000, I don't, I don't think that would be true. Therefore, because I don't know, I looked this up and I have an article that I'm going to post in the links in the comments below, but it's on the IRS's website. And the title of the article is tax tips for people who earn income from a hobby. <gasps> Perfect, right? I thought, it's not that long of an article. I'll read it, I'll have all of the answers. Well, in true IRS form, it's a little gray and it's open to interpretation. So let me just share a few snippets. It says, um, it opens with millions of people <clears throat> enjoy hobbies, whether it's photography, antiquing, craft making. I thought it was funny that they mentioned photography. Okay, if you have a hobby that is also a source of income, you are required to report the income on your federal tax return. In order to properly report your income and expenses to the IRS, you must ascertain whether the activity is classified as a hobby or a business. For tax purposes, a hobby is defined as an activity that you engage in, and I quote, for specific or recreation not to make a profit. Even if you earn occasional income from doing such an activity, the primary purpose must be something other than making a profit. Okay, so that's the IRS's definition of a hobby versus a business. For sport or recreation, not to make a profit. To distinguish between a hobby and a business, you must take into account all the facts and circumstances of your situation. The IRS lays out the following nine factors that should be considered when establishing if an activity is a business engaged in making a profit. Okay, <laughs> nine factors. Okay, why couldn't we make it three? And these nine factors, I'll share them with you. To me, they're so open to interpretation. Just listen. Number one, whether you carry on the activity in a business-like manner. Well, that's not really black and white. Whether the time and effort you put into the activity indicates that you intend to make it profitable. Whether you depend on the income from the activity for your livelihood, that's pretty clear. If you are earning money from photography that you depend on as your livelihood, then it sounds to me like the IRS considers that a business. The fourth one, whether your losses are due to circumstances beyond your control or are normal in the startup phase of your type of business. I don't really understand that one. Whether you adjust your methods of operation in an attempt to improve profitability. Are you trying to become profitable? Whether you or your advisors have the knowledge needed to carry on the activity as a successful business. Do I have the knowledge to do that? Again, open to interpretation. Whether you were successful in making a profit in similar activities in the past. Whether the activity makes a profit in some years and how much profit it makes. Whether you can expect to make a future profit from the appreciation of the assets used in the activity. Those are the nine factors the IRS wants you to consider if your activity is actually a business and not a hobby. 
Okay, thanks for making that clear. Uh, according to the IRS, an activity is deemed as a business if it makes a profit during at least three of the last five tax years, including the current year, or at least two of the last seven years if the activities mainly consist of breeding, showing, training, or racing horses. Oh, the IRS. Uh, I mean, just get to the point. Do I, need to, do I need to pay taxes on a hobby or not? A lot of this is open to interpretation, which is why I strongly suggest that you get an accountant or a tax attorney to walk you through this. Um, and then the article goes on to show you how to deduct hobby expenses. So you, you can deduct hobby expenses and not claim the profit on a 1040 form attached to your tax return if it's a hobby and it falls into these categories. And I'll post this, you can read those categories because it's just more IRS speak, but essentially uh, you would use the Schedule A, the Form 1040, to claim your itemized deductions. Um, does that clear anything up for you? A little bit? Basically, what I am reading here is, for tax purposes, a hobby is defined as an activity that you engage in for sport or recreation not to make a profit. Even if you earn occasional income from doing such an activity, the primary purpose must be something other than making a profit. And then there are the nine factors that you can read. Um, I would say for most of the people that I work with, when they are not aspiring professionals, because I have two different groups of people I work with, there are people who are starting a business, aspiring professionals, yes. And then there are people who just wanna learn more about their hobby, but occasionally people pay them for their hobby. But if it's not their primary source of income and they are not dependent upon it for their livelihood, then according to that article, it is a hobby. Don't listen to me. Don't even take any advice from me. <laughs> you need to read this article for yourself and seek out legal counsel. But I hope this at least helps you get started. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.